Technology changes rapidly, and it often seems as soon as you figured out your new phone, it's time for an upgrade. But no need to toss expensive devices when they can be repurposed. With some new ideas for old smartphones, I'm joined by tech expert Mark Saltzman. He's with me in studio. Good morning. Good, Good morning. to see you. Likewise. I love this idea because people usually just recycle them mm -hmm. or they put them in a drawer somewhere and forget right. all about them. But you say there are plenty of uses for an old iPad or phone. That's right. One of them a security camera. Yeah, so this is great. So this is an app. There's a few different apps that do this, but okay. one's called Presence. It's from a company called People Power. It's a free app that turns your own your your old phone or tablet as long as it has a camera into a webcam or a nanny cam. You just place it somewhere in your home or in your office. You have to have it plugged in cuz you're going to want it in on all the time, and you simply point the camera to the area that you want to keep an eye on, whether it's your pets, your kids, your your uh, items in your home office and now anywhere in the world on another phone or tablet you can always peek in and see what's going on with two-way audio as well. Wow, is this hard to do? You said it was an app? Yeah, it's an app. So you just download it twice, one to your device that you use now and one to your old device. And then you simply set it up. You, you make one as the camera, the other one as the, as the viewer, and then that way you're good to go. So it's like buying a $100 camera yeah. that you would put in your home to see when your kids come home after school at 345, for example. Great idea. Yeah. Another one is a universal remote. That's right. So whether it's a phone or a tablet, you can turn it into a remote for your home entertainment system. So your TV your cable or satellite box or five your your uh, blu-ray player all there's so many different apps that do this but uh, we're showing one here this is from a company called sure and this allows you to take control of your home theater using your phone or tablet many phones have what's called an IR blaster in them and that makes it even easier because then it'll talk directly to your TV and your box so phones from Sony Samsung and LG for example have it not all of them but many of them do and if not if your uh, TV is a smart TV and it's on Wi-Fi, then it's also pretty easy to get going. So there are free universal remote apps for your old phone or tablet. Okay, you can also use it as a high-tech alarm clock. That's right. So whether you want it as a clock or an alarm clock, I, I brought a couple examples of with me here. So this is, uh, you know, there's lots of different apps that do this. So this is an example of one. So this is a traditional digital alarm clock. This is a, a nicer sort of analog clock mm -hmm. that you may want to have propped up in your uh, home office. There's lots of different examples. Some show weather. This is a traditional sort of flip clock that you can, it's just catching up to the existing time. And then you just place it somewhere where you want to keep an eye on it. And it is your alarm clock. So instead of buying an alarm clock at your local retailer, if you need one, whether it's for your, your master bedroom or a spare room, simply prop up an old phone or tablet and you've even got the benefit of music and podcasts as well. That's fabulous. Also, you say you can use your iPad as a digital photo frame. That's right. Now, digital photo frames aren't as popular as they used to be, where you would buy something like this right. to mount on your wall or place on an end table, but there are free apps that will turn your favorite photos into a slideshow, sometimes with music, sometimes with transition effects. This is a, a free one simply called Digital Photo Frame. It's for Apple devices, but there are many of them for Android as well. You set the duration of time per image, maybe three seconds or five seconds, and you set it and forget it. And that way you can see your kids perhaps when you're working away at a computer in, in an office, and you don't have to buy a separate digital photo frame. I think you should take two iPads, one is your alarm clock, the other is the digital photo frame, so that you wake up to those beautiful images. <laughs> That's a very good idea. There you go. <laughs> One for each nightstand. Yeah, I like that. Uh, Mark Saltzman, this is great stuff. Thanks so much for being Pleasure. with us, sharing Cheers. this. Appreciate it.